First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray feeling good, Lewis. We're going to put a chart up of the dollar index because we did complete that ABCD up there at 114. That was a 1.618 expansion. At that point, we said be very, very careful up here because it could have a pretty good correction. And as you can see now, we're in the sixth day of the correction. We've come down and we just broke that little trend line that we have right here that just broke it just a little minute, a little while ago. So that means that maybe it's going to have a whole lot more type of a correction. Whether that has anything to do with the stocks or anything else, I don't know. I look at them one at a time. That's all I can do. And all I can say is, folks, I've had some complaints from people saying that 382 doesn't work some of the time. And you're absolutely correct. It doesn't work some of the time, just like anything else. But I still think it has some good, but, you know, we'll have to wait and see. Okay, now we're going to go back into history today, folks. Compliments of our good friend, Mr. Tom Hugard, the trader Tom. I want to get this chart up and show you where we are here. This was a chart that I posted here on the 5th of May 2009. That was the Monday bottom. And I said this was going to be the largest rally in the stock market since 1938. And, folks, that was the bottom, and it's still rallying to this day. Anyway, I want you to see this arrow right here. You see that black arrow right there? Okay, that was a day where we had two days of the Dow Jones where it rallied 7%. Guess how much we're up these last two days, folks? I'm going to let you guess that. But what I want you to guess is I want you to see that day right here, and then I want you to go back to the previous guard lead that we had back here and do the calculations and see what number that is right there. It's not 0 0.40 and it's not 0.379, it's something else. So if you do that and practice it a little bit, you might get an idea. You had this two day rally and then it was, I just can't believe how the sentiment has changed in two days watching Bloomberg. You, you would think that we've even crossed a 200 day moving average. But that's not the case. Okay, now there's a couple of things that have happened that are very, very significant today from my perspective because I look at Fibonacci numbers, as you know. I sent this out very early in the morning here uh, to the folks to say to get ready to put your selling shoes on. So we'll get this up here for a second. And we'll get up here and put it up here. Here we go. This is a chart going back to that high we made way back here on August the 28th. And today we were looking at this number right here, which was 38.02. The high was 38.02 and a half. Sold off a little bit from there. Whether it works or not, I don't know. But at least it started working in the right direction. By the way, our guest today will be Jim Bartoleone uh, of Bart's Charts. He'll be on today. Tomorrow we've got Norman Winsky of uh, Astro Trends coming out of the ravages of Naples, Florida in the hurricane. And on Thursday, we're going to have Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. And on Friday, we're going to have Peter Elides. And on Monday, do not miss Monday's show, folks. we got Bill Meridian from Cycles Research. We'll be on for the whole show. So it's going to be a pretty exciting week these next few days, as they always are through here. So let's just take a look at a few others that we were watching here today that may or may not work. But, uh, you know, we, we like to show them to you because when they work, you know, it's really uh, it's really a lot of fun. Here's the one that we were talking about this yesterday because someone asked a question about when ABCD patterns don't work. This happens to be the silver market they were looking at yesterday. As you can see here, we have an ABCD pattern, but as you can see here by this really long bar 
okay? The things that make ABC patterns fail are two things. Long-ranging bars, you know, that keep going up and up and up, and also when you have a gap. So when you have a gap, like you have back here, and a long-ranging bar, highly suspect of any ABCD. Okay, so when you see those two things, the long-ranging bar, like we've got here, or a gap somewhere, then, ah, uh -uh, those are danger signals. Uh, Mr. Gartley pointed that out in his book, Profits in the Stock Market from 1937, that you could have gotten for a paltry $1,500, which you could have changed that into three Ford automobiles. And okay, now here's what we wanted to do. We talked this about this yesterday, and I wanted to bring this up to you today because we have continuation going on in this. And I think it's worthy of uh, you know what we're looking at here as far as what these markets might do or may not do, all right? Now, this is the silver, okay? Now, we're looking at the ABC. Now, what do we have here? We've got a really wide-ranging bar, right? But we also have the A, B, C, D. But look how the ranges are going in. And look, it's coming right up here to this 1.618 number, folks. That 618 number comes in at 21, 29 and a half. Unfortunately, this one didn't work. It went to 21. 31 and then it's backed off 16 cents uh, since that point but that's where I'm two things you can look at here first of all you've got the 1.618 expansion okay you've got the wide ranging bar and that tells you you're going to go higher how much higher you're going to do the 1.618 expansion of this whole move you multiply that times 1.618 that gets you to this number right here which is 21 29. So uh, I think it's important. And not only that, boys and girls, if you want to really get the, really put the metal to the metal, hold on here a second. I've got to show you this one because you probably won't believe this one because I don't believe it either. The trouble is if I can find a doggone thing, but I, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to defy human nature and let you find it yourself. But I'm going to give you a little hint. Go back to the last major high that we had in silver going back a very long time ago, like seven or eight months ago, and then do the calculation from the high down to the low we had at 16 and to the high that we got here at 21.29, and someone should do the work and see what that is. You'll never get – Johnny's in the back of the room waving his hand. Yes, Johnny, I know, I know. I see he's holding up a sign. It's not 0 0.41, no. It's not 0 0.36, no. Oh, Johnny's turned it around. It's 0 0.382 on a weekly chart for silver. Pay attention to silver today, folks. They have gain, and we're moving it around very, very quickly. Got to bear with me, folks. Been up all night trading these puppies, and so I'm just a little bit tired, but having fun and loving it, as old, my old good buddy Don Adams would say. Okay, let's move up here to take a look at a couple other things that we want to be watching here. And that is the British pound. The British pound is smoking and joking, folks. And we're getting up into some really interesting area here. Uh, this is one of Mr. Uh, Hugard's, uh, not Mr. Hugard, you know, Mr. Hugard and Mr. Jameson. Hold on here. They bought it on that low day. Let's take a look at this when we get back. 877-927-6648. booming inflation where your purchasing power is eroded there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold vista gold's flagship asset is the mount todd gold project in the northern territory of australia this is australia's largest undeveloped gold project we are talking a world-class gold project in a tier one mining district this is a large-scale low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. 
Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio Tom O'Brien is here to help Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years a frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you Tom's daily market newsletter market insights is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and I posted the chart of the British pound here. And as you can see, uh, we've had a heck of a rally coming off of that 103 handle we had about seven days ago. You'll see now we're approaching the 61% retracement of the high that we made, you know, way back uh, in the end of the month. So this is going to be very, very interesting to see if this holds it or not. The key points to watch here are the 115 level, which is the 61% retracement of that whole move. Or if you go back to the big high that we made way back up there in that 130 area, the 382 on that one, and we don't use 382 much anymore, but we'll keep it in here just for kicks and giggles, just for you mathematicians that want to kick the stones down the road. Uh, that number comes in at 118. So uh, this is a major downtrend. The question is we're having one heck of a rally, and it really started once we went above that 108 level, and uh, we got up to 112. That held it for about 150 pips, and then away it went. Someone's asked me the question, when you have trades that don't work, do you ever reverse? Folks, I probably should, but Mark worked, Mark Douglas worked with me here for four years, and finally he threw his hands up and he said, hey, look, he said, you're comfortable with what you do. It works part of the time. He said, stick with it. He said, but I really believe that if you reverse, you'd make a whole lot more money because he sat there and kept records of when I would get stopped out of something if you just went the other way because that just meant that pattern was failing and it was going up to the next pattern. I wish I did do that, but, you know, I'm an old dog and it's hard to teach me new tricks, so I'm going to keep on barking, and that's all I can tell you. So anyway, that's what we're looking at here in the British Pound. I posted the 382 in the NASDAQ. That was hit real early in the morning, and it's been going down ever since. Uh, now the... Uh, the, the 382 in the uh, S&P and the Dow Jones seem to have held at least for a little while anyway. So we'll see if that's going to end up um, being important or not. Remember, this rally was just the same as the rally that we had back in 2009. And whether that's a replication of what's going that was 2008. The chart was from 2009. So just remind ourselves that what goes up must come down. What I couldn't get over 
is how the sentiment changed overnight. Oh, my goodness. I mean, it was uh, listening to Kathy Woods on there today. (laughs) I thought that, you know, we had just crossed a 200-day moving average or something. That's what I was uh, wondering about to see if uh, that's going on or not. Okay, and we've got a really great chart here. I want to share it with you folks. This is the dollar index, and it's sent to us by our good friend, Mr. BV, down there in Texas. One of our good old uh, cowboys down there. Let's get this chart up here, and you'll be able to see it because we are at the proverbial moment of truth right now in the old dollar index. Because you can see here, uh, we are completing a uh, 61% retracement. That makes this a 135 pattern, folks. 135. There you are. Now, the only thing that's negative is we got all these wide ranging bars to the downside. The good part about it is, and Johnny's in the back of the room raising his hand. What's the good part, Johnny? Yes, your risk here is very, very low here. Because buying it here, you're going back to these old highs that were here. Plus, you're sitting right at the 61% retracement. If this one held, then this one might held. The trend is certainly still up. So anything lower than this, it's not up anymore. So that's why these patterns work is because when they fail... And when they fail, they're telling you that, uh uh-oh, something's wrong, and you got to be careful. It's not how much money you make. It's how much money you don't lose. I got a really interesting email from someone from Turkey, a young man, really likes the patterns and everything, and he wants all this information, all this information. He says, what can I do? He's only 19 years old. And I said, take that book, trade what you see, and memorize it. Know it inside and out. Know every word on every page and every pattern and what they mean. I said, when you've got that, you got the equivalent of a medical degree, a medical degree, and a surgical residency in uh, brain surgery, which takes about eight years. So, once you got that, you're on your way. Patterns don't work all the time, but they work some of the time, and therein lies the key: some of the time, and that some of the time runs to the matter of about oh, 60%. Let's take a look here at gold. What's been happening to that today? Uh, I'll just get this up here. This comes from our uh, friend over in Denmark, Mr. T.S., and we'll be able to see it right up here. This shows the beautiful 382. There was our first buy in the gold right there. Okay, unfortunately, there was my sell right here, uh, right after this level right here. I said, well, we cover the short, but I didn't go long, and uh, look what happened, uh, the way it went, and bada-bing, bada-boom, and I left a whole bunch of money on the table. But, folks, can't complain about the gold, folks. We were short from uh, 214, two, two uh, uh, 1986, uh, 19, oh, my God, all the way down we were short gold. And it got down to within $2 of that ABC down here at 1618 that I tried to buy. It got to 1621 and uh, missed it. But I bought it back on the 382, so that's it. You can't get all these, folks. It's just impossible to do all of it. The wheat's been working pretty good. Natural gas just doing absolutely splendid today, up about 60 points. And uh, that's a very nice move for natural gas. So that one is working uh, pretty good also. Okay, now one I wanted to uh, bring to your attention here uh, one more time is we have a question about Bitcoin. I want to bring this up here to let you folks take a look. And I don't have all the lines drawn in, but you'll be able to visualize what they might be and you'll be able to take a look at it you can see this move right here this is not very bullish action in the bitcoin folks i it looks to me like it wants to make another low and i don't know if that's going to be the case or not but we've got a target down there of about 12,000 we're trading at 20,000 right now so let's uh, keep our mind on this and see what the prize might give us if we uh, get to that point Okay, we got a question from someone up in Idaho, up there in the land of Ensign Software. And the uh, question is, how do you know when a pattern's going to fail or whether the pattern is going to work? Well, if you subscribe to my new service, it's a $35,000 once-in-a-lifetime service, I can give you the answer to those questions. It comes with two shares of the Brooklyn Bridge, which will be equal to the course itself. Folks, you don't know when it's going to happen. That's why this business is so darn much fun. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know the Green Bay is going to fumble on the one-yard line, getting ready to go in for a touchdown. You don't know that someone's going to drop the ball as they run in for a touchdown and it's negated or something. Nobody knows what's that. 
You know, Mark Douglas had a saying once, beware of what's going to happen next, because you know one thing for sure, you don't know what's happening next, and the outcome on any trade is unknown. It is absolutely unknown. The only thing that you can control, and that's why these patterns are so good, is you can control the risk. If the pattern fails, it's goodbye, sayonara, see you later. That's all there is to it. So that's the main thing. Keep that in mind. If you keep that in mind, you're always going to be on the green side of the grass, and you'll be doing uh, you'll be doing okay. So let's uh, let's uh, keep that in mind, okay, folks. Well, we now broke uh, 20. Well, we broke 30 handles, uh, actually 40 handles in the S and P. So uh, that's going to be interesting to see what happens with this one. Hey, let's take a little break here, and we have coming up the old wingman himself, Jim Park the Leone. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Bart of Bart Charts, Jim Bartoleone on the line. Jim, are you there? I'm here, Larry. Good morning. How you doing? Good morning. Listen, I got your first chart up of the U.S. dollar index, but we've got a caller uh, question, and that yeah. is, uh, were you involved? In, I, I know you were involved, but you were involved <laughs> in the Iraq battle, weren't you? Uh, in nineteen ninety one, Desert Storm. Yes. Uh, I I, uh, I was in training, so um, I was not involved in that one directly. No. Mm -mm. Okay. The What's second the one. The second question was. Um, are, did were you because you do the planning and all this stuff? Is it true yes. that Navy SEALs go in ahead of time and mark the uh, targets with uh, 
uh, laser beam target finders that all the pilots have to do is lock on to those and they can see them very clearly. I is that uh, true? That, um, sure. Uh, I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> oh, well, I, I didn't, yeah. mean, didn't yeah. mean to get in the wrong area here. Okay. No, no, that's okay. But um, <laughs> yeah. so okay. Uh, there's, there's multiple ways that we can, what's called mark, if you will, a target. Uh -huh. wow. um, and a lot of times what will happen is there'll be a, uh, some ground pounders or snake eaters, if you will, that'll um, go before, and they'll exactly laze what uh, what target we're supposed to hit, uh -huh. and then um, you're able to see uh, the the energy, if you will, the laser energy, what they're trying to uh, to light to light up, if you will, right, with the laser energy, and so in fact that that happens a lot. Um, yeah. But not necessarily on really precision strikes, if you will, yeah. but in close air support, troops on the ground, close contact, danger close, if you will, um, mm -hmm. you need to be really precise with it. They'll lays, they'll lays the target for you. Yeah. Good question. One of the, one the of person the, asked that question. <laughs> uh, I don't know. He was from uh, Mississippi, so they must know something about that stuff. Big, I remember, I remember, the, I remember the picture. I remember the picture of inside your F-18 that said, the little plaque, folks, there was a red button there. It says, press this if you want to hit, if you want to kill every mother hubbard in sight. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and and well, that was, those were rockets. Is that what that was? Yeah, um, for, for everything. And the, and the saying, actually, can you hear one uh, going over us right now? Holy yeah, smokes. Yeah, wow. You're down in San yeah. Diego. Yeah, wow. We're a couple of miles away from Miramar. And, uh okay. I can close. It'll be done in a second. Sorry about that. But while we're talking about it, it was kind of cool. But uh, we used to have a saying in the cockpit, if you got a light, put it out. Right. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, if, if it's telling you to shoot, it's time to shoot. Don't try to figure it out. Trade what okay. you see. Right. There you go. Not what you think. Trust hey, listen, I have a question for you. Uh, you've got the yes, chart up of the dollar index. And uh, yeah. what are you seeing here, Bart? Yeah. You know, Larry, I mean, you taught me this and I and I just stepped back on it. Um, it's it's all about the measured move, right? They're so powerful, they're so simple, and I think once you spend way too much time on charts, like both you and I have, it, it'll come down <laughs> to that, right? And so that yeah. measured move, it looks so simple, but it incorporates everything, right? Yeah, it does. I mean, it, yeah. the dollar index basically went up and did the corrected, the largest corrective move um, that it's done, you know, and um, just keep uh, just keep in mind where those measured moves are, right? So that, that's what I wanted to show. And so now we have a kind of an air quote clue of why the dollar index stopped right. where it did. Uh, I do think it's going higher like you do, but you know we, we've got to manage the risk. And so it just went right up to that measured move. So that's what I was trying to show. Okay, the next one we've got is the gasoline futures. This is a longer yeah. term picture, but this yeah, is another you know, beauty and um, it certainly started to work already. That, that's right, you know, so again, um, I, I'm involved with uh, with a lot of uh, different people, and we talk about it all the time. And and I'll, I'll be honest with you, I remember asking you like how how many people look at the market like this, and I think you said something like two to three percent. I probably well, it that it isn't that high. Oh yeah, right. And so <laughs> uh, about I don't know three weeks ago or so, uh, uh, you know, I just started saying, hey, look, it looks like gasoline prices might start up again. <laughs> And they're like, why? And I'm like, well, it's a Gartley buy, <laughs> right? And so yeah. it's so funny to watch these patterns work and then see President Biden's press secretary start talking about gas or all the talking head pundits with the fundamentals of why gas has started back up again. And again, just keep it simple. A, B, C, D on top of a lot of ratios, yeah. gas stopped and it started back up. And so again, it just, yeah. I'm still amazed by it, Larry. And, and you talk, you be, the day we stop getting amazed by it is the day yeah. that we have issues, right? It's and, and, and you think about everything going on in the world, it stopped yeah. on a dime and off it goes again. That's the day they close a casket on me when they stop working. That's right. You That's know. right. If they, if, they, if they talked about stuff in the press room, it would be empty every day. So That's <laughs> <laughs> nobody, ca nobody, ca it, nobody cares about it. this kind of stuff except you and yeah. I and a handful of other people that – actually like to do the work here's one that's also has been a really good one we were talking about about a week or so ago because it didn't look like it had any chance of going higher and that's our good friend dr copper yeah and uh you know it's had exactly. a heck of a run here yeah and and again um i'm looking at that not necessarily as a one-to-one -one relationship but copper strong stocks are strong right so when we had this gartley buy 
And, you know, we were basically going down to a, a, a level that we can find would be support on the stocks. This rally, it it makes sense. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. It makes sense. And bam, I mean, copper went a little bit lower and then, and then it exploded. So, I, I mean, yeah. again, this rally makes sense. Now it's, okay, when's copper going to top out if it's going to? So, I, you know, I just wanted to show there's there's other there's other assets, if you will, or other equities, other tradable mm -hmm. instruments that outside of the normal stock market we can use to help manage risk and, and yeah. kind of correlate. So copper was a good one. Great. Yeah. Car I mean, that's beautiful as they get, right, Larry? And it hit and it's, it's helped for yeah. now. Yeah. You know, when we first started working together about 20 years ago, believe it or not, <laughs> it's hard to believe it's been that long. But, you know, I told you you were a little skeptical. I said, but, you know, my best my best students have been airline pilots. And the reason why is because they work with charts that have X and Y coordinates. And that's that all you're yeah. doing here is looking at X and Y coordinates. You're throwing in a little XA, XAB, XABCD, and there you have it. And a few ratios, 618, 786. And there's your game plan. There's your landing gear. There's all your instruments. And You're absolutely you, right. Yeah. You always got to have that parachute and uh, get that uh, cockpit open in case you have to bail out. <laughs> you know, Larry, it's funny. I, I still like I just felt some of the anxiety. Um, and it's also all about the process. And so me and a, a buddy were flying. To, his name, Bobby Roundtree, call sign was Tree. And we we went down. I think we had a hydraulic leak or something. And while we were sitting there on the flight deck, we're like, hey, why don't we just safe our seats? So we saved the ejection seat. Right. And and because we broke our routine, we forgot about it. And we launched off the carrier, we came back, and we had never ar armed our ejection seat. So if we would have, you know, um, had trouble. if we would have had to eject, they wouldn't have worked. And so that's, that's why, you know, you taught me, like you just said, I think we're good at it because it's basically target area study and you start out on a monthly and you go mm -hmm. to a weekly and you go to a daily, right? So you're funneling yourself into the target area. You're mm -hmm. doing the same thing with the patterns, right? Start out yeah. big, work down small, there it is, you either take it or you don't. Right. You bet. Um, That's it. And I sent you another chart. I don't know if you're going to be able to show it, Larry. You were talking oh, we, about Bitcoin before you went on the break. If you mm -hmm. look at Ethereum, it completed a beautiful Gartley buy on a daily. I mean, spot mm -hmm. on. It hadn't budged. <laughs> wow. So to your point about good. Bitcoin, you would expect this is such a beautiful buy on Ethereum that it would have exploded by now. It's barely budged, right? So, yeah, I know. It's just not moving, that's for sure. Yeah. Hey, hey, thanks for joining us, Bart. We'll have you on no, again in a few anytime, weeks. anytime, Larry. Anytime. We love you, buddy. Thanks, keep, man. Keep, keep those cards and letters coming in. You got it. Okay. <laughs> Be Here good, Bart Larry. Leone, folks, Bart's charts. Go look him up on YouTube. See you later, folks. Take a break, and we'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I also wanted to post one of the charts that uh, Bart sent along to me because he did looks at stocks also. And it's really interesting because if you want to see the harmony in a major stock, you got to take a look at this chart of IBM. I mean, it's just, uh, it's incredible all the harmony that's there. It just really, uh, really shows the beauty of these charts and patterns that we have that go along, you know, with the numbers that we deal with. So uh, keep that in mind. It's uh, very, very interesting. Okay, now we'll go on to a couple other things that we need to cover. Uh, we have uh, talked about some of these numbers that have occurred today. There's a whole bunch of them. They, they could fail very, very easily, and this market could continue to go higher by a long shot. Uh, but it's doing exactly what it was doing in 2009 on the way down. It had a 7% rally in two days, which is what we've had. And boy, anybody that believes, doesn't believe that was a powerful rally, uh, you have to open your eyes because it was really big. You know, that's it. Uh, okay, he wants to, someone wants to see the chart. Oh, he doesn't get to see it. Anybody that would like to have um, any of these charts today, uh, if you'll just email me at Larry at tradingtutor.com. I'll make a special file and I'll ship them out to you so that uh, you can uh, take a look at them. Just put your Discover or Carte Blanc card in with it and I'll make the uh, charges. I don't even know if those, those credit cards work. It's free. So if you do want it, it's Larry at TradingTutor.com and I will, uh, I'll send it out to you. Uh, regarding the uh, natural gas, folks, uh, yesterday when we were looking at that, uh, you know, we had several numbers that were down there. And they held just right on the money three days in a row. And now we're having the first part of this really good rally here. We're up about 60 handles from the bottom. And uh, so you certainly want to you know, lock in some profit on that. And uh, you'll have a place to uh, really, uh, you know, really look at it. Folks, uh, don't, don't ask for the charts if you're not going to look at them. Because if you want them just for fun or you just want to, you know, something to do. But if you want to study them, you know, let me know. And I will uh, I'll send them out to you so that you'll be able to uh, take a look at them and see some of the things that we're looking at. Some of them will work. Some of them we won't. But we've got a major thunderstorm here. By the way, that plane that was going over, that, that was an F-18 down there in San Diego. I asked Bart, I said, have one of your boys buzz the house so that they can hear the plane go over. And if you believe that. I still have two shares of the Brooklyn Bridge available for sale. I'm going to keep these. I have too much fun with these two shares, so I don't think I'm going to be able to uh, give them away uh, like I'd hoped to. Uh, someone asked me to talk just a little bit about the Apple that we had mentioned last Friday. I get this up here to take a look at it because it's the most you know active of uh, the, any of the stocks. More people own that than anything else. There was your ABCD down there at 30. Uh, the number came in at 39. The low was 37 and change. We got up to 146 today. That's been a 6% rally in uh, just a couple of days. 
And uh, so that did complete that pattern. Now, any should Apple ever go black, below 39 now, it's going to be really negative. But I don't perceive that happening in the near future. It's a question of whether we're going to uh, see the market have some kind of correction here. And then we'll know whether it's going to be a significant correction or this 382 that we had uh, hit it. Now, we, we had 40 handle profit in that. So usually what you do is when you have something like this that you sold and it works pretty good, you can take part of it off and then put your stop uh, at 20 points so that you lock in another 20 points so that you don't let this thing go back to 38 to 02 again. You don't want that to happen because if it does, it could easily go busting through there. And if it does, it means it could go a whole lot higher. So keep in mind, that's what we're paying close attention to uh, here today. Now, I wanted to get the euro up here and chat just a little bit about this because the euro is having one heck of a rally and it's up in an area just like we're looking at here. You're going to be able to see it. Hold on just a second. Right now, oh, I've got to get the number right. Hold on because it's just right at just right above the 61 percent retracement as we speak right now. And that's similar to that dollar index. That's why we're at such. Oh, I can't show the three. So there's what I wanted. Hold on just a minute here. This shows all the 382s all the way down. And believe me, we were bearish that in the pound for quite a while. You can see uh, now we've had a really good rally. This rally is as good as we've had in a long time. And it's six days up. And it's just a tad above the 61% retracement, just like that dollar index that Bart posted, you know, that, and also that uh, BV, uh, Billy down in Texas posted that it's right at that moment of truth. As long as it doesn't get below that low by more than just a few pips, it's still got a chance to be bullish. The trend is overall uh, up, as you can see, and if it can, that's in the dollar index. And then you can move on to the next one, and you'll be able to see whether it's going to work or not. And, and if it fails, it's no big deal. Get on another bus, take your handful of quarters, and you will definitely find your princess if you keep riding that bus long enough. That's it. I remember when I was just a Oh, I think I was 16 or 17. Well, I was, just had a car. I went up to see my grandma, and uh, I was really depressed because my girlfriend had found somebody else, if you could believe that. I still don't believe it to this day. And my grandma said, always carry two dimes with you. And I said, why is that? She said, if there's not a bus, a girl on the first bus, get on the second bus. You'll spend your 20 cents, and you'll, you'll, you will find a girl. And you know what? Grandma was right. It took me 29 more years to find it, but by golly, I didn't run out of dimes. And that's the whole thing. All right, let's take a quick look here now at the natural gas, which is trading right now. I like to talk about some of these that when they work pretty good, uh, makes you feel pretty good. And this one certainly should make uh, some folks feel pretty good here. We'll get this natural gas up here and show you, uh, you know, I already showed the, the pattern on it before the big Gartley pattern. And then now you can see we've had this huge run up here today in the uh, uh, natural gas. And we're up at the 78% level, but we made it in one day, folks. Uh, that means that you certainly want to hang on to that. that that's a main thing to uh, pay very, very close attention to. Remember, folks, tomorrow we're going to have Norm Winsky from Astro Trends. We have to be super kind to him, folks, because he was really battered by the storm. He didn't have much damage. He had some broken trees and stuff like that. But he was shook up because it was a very, very heavy storm. You know, he's got a situation where he's got hurricane shutters, so he can stay there and uh, be relatively safe, which he was, which we're glad. And he'll be our guest Wednesday, Thursday, Jeff Hughes, Friday, Peter Elides of Stock Market Cycle. So that's our remainder guest. Next week, of course, Monday, will be Bill Meridian of uh, Cycles Research out of Vienna, Austria. Bill will be in his home in New York, and so we'll have a great, uh, great session with him and some of his superb cycle work, and that'll always be a lot of fun. I think we have a break coming up here in just a second because of the fact that I believe the old clock on the wall says that I have 51 seconds left, which is quite a bit. If anybody has any questions, it's 877-927-6648. And I'll be happy to answer them uh, if I can. And I think I'm just going to be waiting here until the uh, Music starts, which will be in five, four, three, two, one, and that should be it.
Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC Capital Market Assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. All right, folks, we're back, and I want to uh, bring to your attention uh, the charts of silver, which is very, very important up here at that 21 29 level because it's an ABCD 1.618 and 382 everything coming together should we close above 2140 uh, well 2130 132 you know just making a new high after coming off 30 cents uh, that would tell us that this market wants to go a whole lot higher and uh, heaven forbid what would cause it but by golly it might uh, gold has uh, you know rallied up and has not even come close to a 382 retracement I mean it's like $40 away from a major 382 retracement, even though we moved $130 off the bottom. That's a huge move, and it's due for a correction. And whether it comes or not is anybody's guess, but right now it certainly isn't. So we just have to be patient to see what the trading gods are going to give us next time. Now, the wheat that we've been watching has been working very, very well. I'll bring this up here because we've been uh, bearish wheat over the last few days. You'll be able to see the pattern here has been uh, because you've had lower highs and everything, including the markets rallying like crazy, the wheat hasn't. You can see here we had the ABCD up here today, uh, and then boom, down she came, and uh, it's had a pretty good uh, move to the downside. We had a little bit of a rally here. This rally came right back to the 61% retracement right here today. 
where is the little switch? There it is. <laughs> there, right there was your 61% uh, retracement. And now we started to uh, move on, you know, to the uh, downside. So that's what we're paying attention to. But you can see the nice little ABCD pattern that we had in the week today came in, guess where? Right at the old 61% retracement of the high we made right back here. That makes that a Gartley pattern spot on. So uh, let's watch those. They're very, very important as we go through. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. I'll see you on the flip side uh, tomorrow with our guest, none other than Mr. Norm Winsky. 